Hey guys. So, your first thought was probably, what is this video? What does the title mean? And why is she wearing sunglasses? Maybe not in that order, but now it is. And I'm going to be holding this camera, so... Sorry if it's a little shaky, but this is kind of like a motivational speech, and also just um, me talking to you guys. So soon, I'm going to be changing a lot, and this is a little bit about self-importance and thinking of yourself less than others, or being scared to do things that you really want to. Yesterday, I went to a dance called Semi-Formals, and... Oh, and you may be wondering why my hair is like this. Get to that. Semi-formals. And I've always been scared of um, change. You know, changing. This is a, like a one take, I guess. So um, no cuts, no edits. So change for me has been a big part of my life. And whenever I was a little girl, I was like, I, I wasn't a girly girl because I like to play with more of action figures, things like that. But I also did like to play with dolls and make love stories and stuff like that. And I cheerlead, I was a cheerleader, I was a dancer, um, ballerina dancer, and then I got into sports. And farther away from where I was, so I changed a lot from being a little girl who was a ballerina and a dancer a ballerina and a cheerleader to a girl who played sports like flag football, basketball, softball. And when I was a little girl, I had never worn my hair down either. So I hadn't worn my hair down, but I wore it in like braids and ponytails like I usually do now. Um, and beads. I was obsessed with beads. That was my longest hairstyle other than the hairstyle I currently have or had. I'll get to that. And I was always scared to change it. Um, and when I did change it, I would look around me to see who was the one judging and did they like it. If they don't like it, maybe I should just go back to my safe zone. And you know, you're always supposed to go outside of your comfort zone. You're always supposed to try to explore new things, try to make new things, and most importantly, make yourself happy. But I was not doing that, and I barely ever do that, because I usually, whenever I was a kid, I didn't care about what other people thought as much as I did now. But now I care a lot about what people think, a little bit too much, but not what people think about maybe what I say, but maybe how I look, not the clothes, but my hair. So, people had always told me, um, I think I started wearing it like this in like third grade probably. Third grade to seventh grade. That's a long time never changing your hair except like once a year when my mom made me or something. And they always told me to put it out. And I would put it out for that one time that year. Okay? And it was judgment. People saying they didn't like it. People saying that they did like it. And, you know... I, I know it sounds weird, and I'm kind of all over the place in this video, but I don't really like compliments, but at the same time, I don't like negativity. I'd rather you just be there, see what I look like, and keep moving, you know, not say anything about it, because everyone has their insecurities, and my insecurity is with my hair. So they always told me to put it down, uh, and when I did put it down, you know, all that judgment, so I just put it back. Put it back to my safe zone. Safe zone where I knew people were used to it. So if people are used to it, and I'm used to it, like, why do I have to change? And for the longest time, I couldn't understand why I needed to change. And yesterday was semi-formals. Which, if you guys don't know what that is, it's a 7th and 8th grade dance. And I went to it, and I put my hair out. If it wasn't... Like, if this was an edited video, I would show you a picture, but I lost my phone, too. So, <laughs> anyways, it's, um, it's a dance. And I put my hair out for it. And I put it out kind of naturally, but I did curl it a little, and it was out. And I really liked it. And I liked it, and a lot of other people said they liked it and stuff. Like I said, I don't really like compliments, and I was, like, mobbed and mobbed by people. And physical appearance is something that everyone's, like, no one's ever going to get over that, right? 
and it felt great to be in the moment where my hair was out and I didn't overthink it because as soon as I always try to make a change with my hair or something I get like a huge anxiety attack and I keep speculating like I keep saying no they're not gonna like this no they're not gonna like this but why can't I be the one who like it <laughs> who likes it why does it always have to be they why can't it be me and I think that comes around with you having to love yourself for who you are, no matter what your physical appearance is. You should be worried about what's inside. Um, and that goes for you looking at yourself and for others looking at you and for you looking at others. You know, we need to go into this world appreciating people's insides and not their outsides. Yeah, sure, outsides could be a huge benefit, but if all they are physical appearance and you're just looking for physical appearance you're never going to have a true relationship that goes for boyfriend girlfriend friendship or family you know and you can never really establish that and also that's part of self-love you need to look inside of yourself and see what you really want so I told myself that whenever I turned the age of 13 I would wear my hair out and that's actually what I did, except I turned 13 February 21st. So a while ago, and I had kept it the same because I was like, no, never mind. I'll just change it in the summer so that when I get back next school year, everyone will be used to it. Again, I was thinking about everyone else but me. And I told, <laughs> I told the vlog for a reason whenever I went gown shopping. I was going to wear my hair out <laughs> because I knew that I was going to turn back on myself and say no and as soon as I got in that gown whenever I was gown shopping I thought I look terrible there's something missing and I knew that having my hair out was the thing missing but the reason why I put my hair out this time was for me all the other times was for everyone else but this time it was for me and as soon as I was about to go to the semi we were in the car I was looking at myself in the mirror and I didn't like it okay I didn't like it but then I did I was standing by my mom and I looked a lot like her and I thought now everyone's gonna think I look like my mom but that's not a bad thing and I thought that I looked, at the moment I didn't think I looked good, but I think I looked good afterwards. And I think having my hair out is a big difference. And it's like truly what I want. I never picked the hairstyle that I had before because, you know, I liked it. Okay, at times, sure, I liked it. But to tell you the truth, it wasn't me. It was me hiding in a different form. And I keep rethinking to myself because I'm, I was telling myself at Semi that I was going to keep it this hairstyle. I'm not going to turn back on it. But then I started thinking, if I wear my hair out, what about all the people who weren't at Semi and they see me? And they see that I look different and they don't agree with it. Or maybe they do, but they're going to take their time and just look, look at me and... And judge. That's my biggest fear is judgment. My biggest insecurity is judgment. Being judged. And I start to think about what about all the teachers who hadn't seen me like this? And all the kids. And I'm going to be starting softball soon. So what am I going to do with that? With all these worries, all these struggles. And I thought to myself, okay, I'll just go back to the normal. But I need you guys to help me not go back to the normal. Because that isn't me. And I put my hair out in 6th grade last year. I'm going to share a big secret with you guys. Any of you guys who are who are in my 6th grade class or whatever. I put my hair back. And I put in like this ponytail. Like I'm in a ponytail right now because I had basketball earlier. This isn't actually how I was wearing it. Um... But, 
I put my um, hair out and it was like down with a little ponytail. So hair straight out, little ponytail up top. And I thought it looked pretty. I thought I looked good. I came into school very nervous. Very nervous about what other people thought. And when I came in and people saw there was immediate judgment. And people made fun of it. And they thought I didn't notice. They thought had I even if I did notice, I didn't care. But I did care. And I really cared. And I changed it back because I cared. I cared. So guys, I guess the message of this is that you have to do things for yourself. You can't focus on what other people. You can't focus on what other people are saying. And you... I let it go on for a really long time. I also let myself not cry in front of people. I guess I'm still doing that because it's in front of a camera. But I actually allowed myself to cry. Another insecurity. Can't show weakness. And I guess that's why I'm wearing the glasses. I'm wearing the glasses as a sign to say that I'm changing. That when I take these glasses off, I've made a commitment to myself. I've made a commitment to you guys. And that's why I'm making the video. So that I have to stick with that commitment. <sighs> Wish me luck, guys. Please put in the comments down below if you've ever gone through this or any words of encouragement and advice if you have a way of stopping this fear of judgment. I'm changing.